is breaking news on two news. We are following breaking news tonight. Shots fired, as you can hear right here, near the Technical College in Ogden. A heavy police presence at the Washington Park Apartments. You just heard those shots in this video. Any minute now, we're expecting to hear from Ogden Police to give us a live update on what is happening here, what we're seeing in that video. Thanks for joining us at 6 o'clock. Heidi Hatch, Brian Schnee. In the meantime, let's go to Jade Elliott joining us at the live desk with what we know right now. Jade? And I have eyes on the podium from Ogden Police right now, and it looks like they are preparing any moment to start that press conference. And as soon as they do, we'll, of course, take you there. I'm checking my feeds coming into the live desk. But in the meantime, we are following this breaking news. I want to take you to the scene right now, our UDOT camera. You can see up at the top still some flashing lights. Heavy police presence here, Washington Boulevard and 2nd Street. We've received videos and photos from viewers in the area. Take a look and a listen to what we've received. A volley of gunfire is what you hear. Two News viewer Carson Kidwell sending us that video. Want to get you live right now to the Ogden Police Department where a press conference is just starting in response to this breaking news we've been following. Order violation in progress at uh, 170 North Washington Boulevard here in Ogden. Um, upon arrival, an officer, one of our officers encountered a male suspect who was armed with a gun. Uh, an exchange of gunfire ensued between the officer and the suspect. Due to the seriousness of the situation, additional officers quickly responded to the scene. Uh, during the course of the investigation, multiple rounds uh, were fired between officers and the suspect. Unfortunately, one of our officers was struck by gunfire. Unfortunately, <clears throat> Our injured officer was immediately transported to a local hospital where they are currently receiving treatment. I am relieved to let you know that the officer is in stable condition, um, but continuing to receive treatment. Um, the suspect at the scene was shot and succumbed to the injuries at the scene. Uh, it is important to note that this situation was highly chaotic and rapidly evolving, leading to the involvement of multiple officers discharging firearms during the incident. The scene was secured, um, locked down following the incident. And given the gravity of the incident, we have requested the assistance of the Weber Morgan Critical Incident Task Force to conduct a thorough investigation. Uh, we are committed to ensuring comprehensive, unbiased, and transparent investigation. It is important to gather all the facts before we make any further statements or draw conclusions. At this time, we have very limited additional information as the investigation is ongoing. Additionally, on behalf of myself and Chief Eric Young, who is traveling right now, we want to recognize the immense bravery displayed by all officers who responded to this incident. Um, they faced, uh, recognize the officer for bravery displaying the bravery they displayed. They faced significant danger and acted swiftly and decisively to protect the public. Their actions demonstrated professionalism and courage that our officers exhibit every day. As per our department's protocol, it, all officers directly involved in the incident will be placed on administrative leave pending a comprehensive investigation. This is standard procedure designed to ensure the integrity of the investigation process and provide officers with the necessary support. Um, we understand that incidents like these can be unsettling for our community and we are committed to maintaining open lines of communication throughout the investigation. We will provide updates as new information is available while responding or while we also respect the integrity of the on ongoing investigation. In closing, our thoughts remain with the injured officer and their family. We appreciate the support of the community and, and uh, understand the challenging time that that can create in, in our community. The Ogden City Police Department remains dedicated to upholding uh, the highest standards of professionalism and accountability and transparency. Again, at this time, this is an ongoing investigation and I am unable to answer additional questions at this time. We will release additional information and likely have an additional press conference once we actually get the facts of how this all played out. So thank you. Appreciate your guys' time. All right, you. so that was Deputy Chief Jake Sudan. Again.
Just wrapping up this press conference with Ogden Police, we have now confirmed they have told us this was an officer-involved shooting. We're told an officer responded to the area of those apartment complexes there in Ogden off of Washington Boulevard. When the officers arrived, there was a suspect with a gun, and that's when gunfire was exchanged. We're told the officer was shot, but that officer taken to the hospital, we're told, in stable condition. The suspect also shot and died at the scene. As you just heard there moments ago, of course, they are continuing to investigate. The officers involved have been placed on administrative leave, and they are continuing to investigate. They will continue to release information as they learn more. We'll, of course, pass it along to you. But again, confirmed now out of Ogden, an officer-involved shooting. One officer shot in stable condition at the hospital. The suspect killed at the scene. Jade, thank you. As police said, they're a highly chaotic scene. A lot of information we will yet to find out tonight. A lot of questions. We will continue following this developing story throughout the night. You can download the 2 News app to get push alerts like this one. As soon as we learn new information, you'll have it too.